While Peter was wondering about the meaning of the vision, the men sent by Cornelius found out where Simon's house was and stopped at the gate. Simon, three men are looking for you, so get up and go downstairs. Do not hesitate to go with them, for I have sent them. They called out, asking if Simon, who was known as Peter, was staying out there. While Peter was then thinking about the vision, the Spirit said to him, Well, Peter, so Peter went down the stairs to the men. I am the one you're looking for. Why have you come? The next, the next day, Peter started out with them and some of the brothers from Joppa went along the following day and arrived at Caesarea. Cornelius was expecting them and had called together his relatives and close friends. As Peter entered the house, Cornelius met him and fell at his feet in reverence. But Peter made him get up, stand up. He said, I am only a man myself. Talking with him, Peter went inside and found a large gathering of people. He said to them, you are well aware that it is against our law for a Jew to associate with Gentile or visit him. But God has shown me that I should not call any man impure or unclean. So when I was sent for, I came without raising any objection. May I ask why you sent for me? Cornelius answered, four days ago, I was in my house praying at this hour at three in the afternoon. Suddenly, a man in shining clothes stood before me and said, Cornelius, God has heard your prayer and remembered your gifts to the poor. Send to Yopa for Simon, who is called Peter. He is a guest in the home of Simon the Tanner, who lives by the sea. So I sent for you immediately, and it was good of you to come. Now we are all here in the presence of God to listen to everything that the Lord has commanded you to say.